There are 400,000 people in the UK with a diagnosis of an autism spectrum condition or Asperger's syndrome with only 15% in employment. Not enough young people have access to information, advice and guidance to help them take the next steps in their education and careers. The situation today in fashion is that thousands of farmers around the world are not able to produce their crops for the price that they can afford to sell them by. The cost of the British economy of a homeless person is £26,000 a year. One of the problems at the moment is that people leaving prison, there is a 60% chance that they will end up back in prison within the year. We launched the Social Innovation Pioneers Programme to identify up to 30 uh, businesses that we could really help mainstream and scale and deliver real social impact as well as a sustainable business model. Working with social businesses was a fantastic way to be able to use the breadth of Deloitte services, the power of our brand and the skills and expertise of our people to make that kind of a difference. It's really important to bring together these partnerships between small entrepreneurial startup companies like ourselves and big organisations that can bring the scale and the rigour and the resources. When you're setting up a new business, there's no way that you could hope to generate the wealth of expertise that's needed to be successful. Hopefully partnering with Deloitte, tapping into their mentoring and strategic advice will really help our young team grow and be more successful. Partnerships are great because they bring together different skill sets. I think it's very important in all business, but particularly in social business. Oh, it's the classic two and two makes five. We are good at social, providing social care. Um, Deloitte has a whole series of expertise in organisational development and if you combine the two we will become a high quality, well organised, focused social care organisation. These partnerships are important because they show that the sectors can work together, they show that people um, in the commercial sector believe in the work of the social sector. People like Deloitte uh, in your corner or on your side uh, gives us that confidence and it gives us that uh, support and uh, the ability to use that, their network. Hopefully the partnership goes both ways and we can spread some of the thinking of social enterprise into Deloitte and through that maybe its clients as well. We've had an absolutely phenomenal response to the Deloitte Social Innovation Pioneers Programme. The initial application process meant that we had more than 330 organisations to look through. From that we managed to sift it down to around about 120 organisations, who we then asked for a little bit more information about their current business and their future plans, and that was reviewed again to get us down to about 80 organisations that went to a final panel interview. We then managed to have a final consistency meeting to decide the right mix and the right makeup for our final 30 organisations. The kind of support that we're after is really about strategic advice and mentoring. We've grown the business to be able to give away £7.6 million over the last few years and we think with Deloitte's input we can really scale that. I think for us we're looking for um, some support around our strategic thinking, around our pricing structures, around our membership models. We'd love to work with Deloitte on making sure that we are investment ready and that our tax and our accountancy and legal side of things uh, are in great shape. Deloitte support will help us to grow our business, to raise investment and to ultimately reach um, a wider group of customers than we do currently. Deloitte, I'm hoping, will help me construct a better operating model to allow us to grow. From Deloitte, we'd love to have financial advice um, and an increased sector knowledge. The support we want is access into other corporates such as Facebook, Twitter, which is really important for the young people. We want to work with Deloitte to develop our social idea into a really robust, sustainable business. I very much hope to benefit from a mentor that is selected who has specific knowledge of the healthcare industry. I would take all they have to offer, uh, especially probably on the financial management side and the business development side. Uh, I have a huge wish list, so yeah, it's endless. This programme is important to us um, because it's about using our core skills and expertise to make a difference in society. We have a passion and brighter future to help as many disabled people as we can, especially youngsters, so our, our, our drive is limitless. We want to lift people from poverty, increase their opportunities in education and employment and provide a voice for marginalised people in society. Our ambition is huge, we want to be the green network for the UK and beyond and that we want to make it easier for people to be green. We would like to become a household name to demonstrate that our business model in telecoms uh, can make a real impact and uh, in terms of people's consciousness of uh, what a cooperative can do. About 100 million tonnes of waste goes to landfill in the UK every year. Elvis and Cressy wants to grow because we can be an amazing part of solving that problem. We can help contribute to zero waste to landfill as a plan for Britain. 
There are three quarters of a million disabled children and only one out of 13 of those get support from the state at the moment. So we want to transform that and bring joy and richness to disabled kids' lives. We're really excited about the huge range of organisations that have come on board as part of the Social Innovation Pioneers Programme. It's going to be an annual process where we select organisations that we think can add real value both to Deloitte and to society. Uh, we see this as a critical programme as we develop our agenda to be the responsible business.